So it is uh, not the student's responsibility, but it is the duty of the teacher to see that the student's attention is attracted towards what he is talking. Mullah Nasiruddin is a great man of wisdom, but he chose to live like a buffoon or a fool and through examples and jokes he taught them because the people who were he was living they were all undeveloped average or below average villagers and therefore he lived that so one day let us say I do an example he was sitting on a tree on the thinner side of the branch and was very vigorously cutting the branch on the thicker side. <coughs> so the local mullah, who is in charge of the mosque, he was passing that way. He said, Hey, Nazaruddin, what are you doing? What am I doing? Can't you understand? I am cutting the branch. You will fall down. He said, Eh, hey, go. And the mullah went away. By the time the mullah reaches the marketplace, there comes uh, Nasruddin running behind, calling out, Mullah Sahab, Mullah Sahab, please wait, Mullah, Mullah, Mullah. And the whole village stopped there. So all the villagers are there standing and they all stop. Nasruddin reached there and he fell prostrate on the road. Mullah Sahib, you must forgive me. I never knew that you know future. You are right. You told me that I will fall down. I fell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the town, citizens, please understand, your Mullah is not an ordinary man. He knows the whole future. You ask him, he will tell you. And Nasruddin uh, went away. All the villagers are after him because everybody wants to know the future. And Mullah said, I don't know, I, I, we understand. Nasruddin told me that he had experience of it. Now you tell me what is my future. And Mullah Sahib said, I, you, I have nothing. I have nothing. How did you tell him that you will fall down? And he fell down. So every <laughs> Mullah Sahib had to run away from that village for some peace and tranquility. This is the kind of thing.